Hey, welcome to the first episode of Modern Geek Ancient Greek. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm sitting here in the studio and I'm about to record my message for this week and uh, for this Sunday. And whenever I translated Ephesians for my message, Ephesians 3, 14 through 21, I just wanted to share uh, a few notes in translating. It's technical stuff, but geeky stuff. But uh, the first one that I want to share with you is about the middle voice that is used in this passage. Uh, the, in verse 18, to grasp for yourselves. Uh, the Greek word is kata labestai, and it's the aorist middle infinitive of kata lambano, uh, which means to hold for yourself, to grasp, or to hold or to grasp. And uh, in the Greek, there are... Uh, Two, uh, there's three voices. In English, we have passive and active. Uh, the active voice means that the subject is actually performing the action. The passive means that the subject is receiving the action. In the ancient Greek, there was also a middle voice where the subject was actually performing and receiving the action, which gave it a reflexive quality. So this katalabestai uh, is the infinitive middle voice of aorist of katalambano. So it actually means to grasp for yourself or to grasp for oneself. So in translating this, I tried to include that, that you might be fully able to grasp for yourselves together with all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, and the height. That middle voice is also used two times in verse 20. Um, we ask, uh, this is my translation, so to him who is able beyond all things to do surpassingly, abundantly beyond what we ask for ourselves, the middle voice, or conceive in our minds according to the power working for us which is in us. So we have uh, in... Uh, asking, we ask, uh, it is the present middle indicative. So we have to give it the middle voice. We ask for ourselves um, and then working for us. Um, again, the middle voice, the present middle participle working, but the subject is also receiving the action, so it is working for us. And then there's a prepositional phrase right after that, and hey men, which means in us. So this is working for us according to the power working for us, which is in us. And the last thing that I wanted to point out uh, so to him who is able beyond all things. And Paul uses a, a big long word with all kinds of superlatives strung together. Who pair, oh, I lost it now. Uh, who pair ek perisu. And it's just a bunch of superlatives all strung together. I translated it surpassingly, abundantly, beyond. But it was pointed out uh, in uh, some things that I was reading in that this was just the Apostle Paul trying to give the highest, most comprehensive superlative that he could find. Him, to him who is able 
beyond all things to do everything above, surpassingly abundantly beyond what we ask for ourselves or conceive in our minds. So whether this, this is a help or not, it's just geeky stuff that is so interesting to me. So I'm going to close my first uh, session of Modern Geek, Ancient Greek. <laughs>